Hey, this is Stu, and today we're going to try a little bit something different for Love Yoga Anatomy, and this is a little bit of acro yoga. So um, I've never done it before, but Kat, luckily I'm in good hands. You teach Ashtanga, but you also teach Vinyasa, and you also teach acro, yeah, is that yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good combination with Ashtanga and acro yoga, yeah. because there is this element of surrendering, mm. and also when you adjust people, you can learn from acro yoga some yeah. stuff. Because there's this like counterbalance and leaning on people and stuff. So I think it's a really nice combination. Good. And we yeah. were talking a little bit off camera about the difference maybe between partner yoga and acro yoga. Is yeah. What's the difference? For me, it feels like in acro yoga, there's more of an acrobatic element. Yeah. Which means that in partner yoga, you will do like easy stuff like helping somebody to twist more, mm -hmm. to forward fold more and stuff. And in acro yoga, you will do more like uh, stuff in a... Uh, higher hi uh, heights and yeah, stuff. Yeah, balancing and balancing. all that sort of stuff. But you will need somebody who will take care about the safety. Yes. Which is the spotter. They're like a third person in a yoga, not just two people, but third person. A third person to keep their eye on what's going yeah. on and everything. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool, which exactly. we're going to do. And you're going to show us some stuff and we're going to, also I'm going to play. My wife is over there. She's going to come in and <laughs> have a go too. And so this is, this little one is to do mostly for beginners, isn't it? To have yeah, a, definitely. A, an idea yeah, yeah. of what's going on. I want to try to show some stuff that uh, anybody can do. Great. If you're warmed up. Yeah. You need to talk about the warming mm. up first. Mm. So we've done that bit. We've done, we've warmed up our wrists. We've warmed up our yeah. hamstrings. Yeah, we've and some waking up stuff. of the core and stuff. Mm. It's nice. And we were talking also of the camera about this nice to stretch your hamstrings a yeah. little, especially for the base. Yes. Because usually, or in many of the things, they are lying down yeah. with the legs up. Yeah. And when, when your hamstrings are not warm, they are mm. not long enough maybe, so it's harder to balance there. So you're going to need at least 90 degrees, aren't you? So you're going to have yeah, your legs Yeah, but we will show up. how to fix it if it doesn't work. Because okay. usually for our workshops, yeah. there are like girls who do some yoga yeah. and they bring guys. Never <laughs> did anything like that. I've done football. Yeah, like that. <laughs> right. And they are a little bit not that uh, flexible, okay. especially in these areas. Yeah. So there is a way how to fix it, kind of. But it's good to like work on your flexibility, at least mm. a little, okay. to be easier for you, this, this stuff in acro yoga. Great, good. All right, so I'm excited to get started. So I'm going to let you show us a little bit of stuff first, and okay. then you just shout whenever you need yeah, us. Perfect. Cool, good. Perfect. So I'll call my base. My sweet base. Come to me. <laughs> Please do plank for me. So what we uh, many times use in acro yoga is the thing that you need to have your joints in one line, which means that when I start leaning or giving my weight on my base, then my weight goes two to the ground. When he's more forward or backwards, doesn't work that well. So he can do like a really nice plank with this nice line, and I can start pushing here. And if I want to warm up a little bit my core, just a little, I can come here and I can push more and he can push more. We can both push more. I do this kind of stuff. But the thing is that you can just push here and try this line. Then we will do two planks. You will lie down and we will show you something easy and then something a little harder. So, make the shape, please. <laughs> Many times we put like one shape and then, then we put the same shape on the one who's basing. The easiest way how to do it is to put your palms on the ground because the other way is grabbing on the shin, which can be a little hard for the base for the beginning. So I will do a nice plank with my shoulders above my wrists and I will put one leg in his arm, and the other leg. Just the easy stuff that you can try to work with like holding somebody a little bit. There's the first possibility. For the second one, can I rewind my spotter, please? <laughs> <laughs> so I first will do just two planks, and then I will do Jedi box. So the first one, I grab again, strongly, I put one leg, in his palm, and I push down, and I push through my palms with the other one. You can just stay here, dopředu, před můj zadek. Mm -hmm. Or if you feel really comfortable here, and you can try, or you can, you want to work your core a little bit more, I can come with my palm up, and we can do the Jedi box. 
come down. And again, I start a movement and liver is following. Come down. Now I will ask Denisa to do the same thing and I will show the common mistakes that happen in this one. Please do the plank on labor. So one thing is that she has to do it. He's not bending his arms. She's just stepping there and she is just in his arms. You are too much forward, so go a little bit back, a little bit back, back, back. Does that do? Okay. And now when they come up, I can be here as a spotter, a little bit help and direct the movement. Or I can even hold her. But it's nice is to direct the movement of the hips that go up. What usually happens is, uh, that the base doesn't have the arms high, they have it a little bit like in front of the face, and her bum or her shoulders come too much to the front. Please come down, guys. And I take her about her hips. And when she's coming down, she put one leg down and the other one. Do you want to try as well? Come, try. <laughs> It's very nice to show it on people who've never done it before. Yeah, it's exactly. your first time doing it, or did you ever do it before? No. Oh, great. First time is nice. First time is nice. So you grab his ankles or his shins. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you offer one leg. So straighten one leg. Mm -hmm. In his palm. In his palm. You have to put it in his palm. Yeah. <laughs> then push down. Yeah. Great. Just stay there a little. You can squeeze your bum a little. And you can come higher here, okay? How does it feel? Yeah, you feel safe? <laughs> okay, now come up with your hips, up, up, up high, up high, high. And you have to go with your shoulders back and bum up. Come here, come up, come up, come up. Yeah, that's it. I can even help her to direct the shoulders, not to go too much to the front. Yeah, that's it, awesome. Great. <laughs> and slowly down, slowly down. Straighten your arms, always straight arms. And now come down on your own. One leg down, one leg down. And then the other one. Great! Awesome! <laughs> Did it feel safe? No, that was really good, yeah. Just lifting up was a little scary, but then I was okay. Yeah, that's what, yeah. what's often happening in acro yoga. It's a little scary. So it's nice to have a spotter there, somebody who's helping you yeah. to direct your body. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do the yeah. bird, like the very basic thing. We will show it and then we will ask you guys again. Yeah. So this is the thing that you can see in many, many videos. It's called a bird or front bird. The first thing that you can do, that you will step a little further from your base bum and you put his arch or her arch in this knuckle, in this bony part. So it's me who is putting the feet there and they are parallel. They are not turning to the side, which often happens. They are parallel. Now I just look forward, I open my chest and I just hold the shape and the board is bending his knees. Like I'm not doing nothing. I'm trying to keep the shape and he is bending. This is a nice Way to start. When he opens his knees a little bit more, it's nice for his hips. Doesn't feel that safe for me. <laughs> <laughs> for flying it, you come closer. The way that his uh, fingers can grab my big toes. The same with the feet parallel and also the arch on the snuckle. Straighten my arms. My fingers are directing to the front and flyers or bases fingers to the side. And I'm here, I just wait. I just wait. Weep. So again, there's one line, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and also my arms is not here, it's not there. It's in one line. And I'm using my legs and I'm using my chest, everything comes up, and then I can be here without holding arms. Can I ask one flyer? Can I ask you? Yeah. Let's try this one. 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 Let's try
<laughs> I think it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think you can first try just that one, the, the preparation. You do nothing. You put your oh, arms yeah, yeah. next to your body, look to the front, not on him, and just keep your shape. And Labor is bending the knees. No, you don't. You're, no, no. You just keep in that shape. You just stay there. <laughs> you trust. Yeah. Big part of Acro Yoga. Yeah. You need yeah. to trust your base. Yeah, if she feels like very like unstable, she doesn't know what to do, I can stand here and I can be here. Please bend your knees, oh, yeah. Libor. Mm -hmm. And I'm here. And if anything happens, yeah. I can be here for your shoulders. Yeah. Uh, but usually nothing happens in this one. Yeah. And also Libor can have the palms or the arms up so then you feel yeah. even safer. Yeah. If you go in with the flying part, the front bird, you have to step more forward, oh, yeah. big toes to his fingers. He ah. had to have a chance to, to touch you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And then straight arms to the front, your fingers facing that way, base's fingers facing sides. And then at one point, your arms have to touch. So if you have it here, you will never touch him. You have to go this ah. direction. <laughs> Yes. Open your chest, chest and just keep the shape. Keep the shape. Whip. Oh, okay. And now, straighten your arms, open your chest. Oh, yeah. Arms straight. Great. And I'm under her. My knees are bent, and I'm spotting it. When something goes wrong, don't be afraid. Yeah. I'll catch you. If something goes wrong, oof. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can help her. I can help yeah. her. Good if I go to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was good. Okay. <laughs> Let's do once more. Let's yeah. do once more. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you are the one who is putting the feet on your body. So you will find your own, this bony knuckle, yeah. and put his arches in this part. So you have to put the, the feet. It's not him yeah. who is putting it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. yes. And then everything straight, everything engaged. Look forward, forward, not on him. I know he's nice, but look forward. <laughs> And now, come back. Yes. One line, one line. Mm -hmm. You feel safe? Can you feel like doing it without your arms? Like arms next to your body? No arms? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Like here, over here. I'm, I'm here under you. And then you can turn it a little bit to the side. Just turn it. I'm here. You just keep the shape. You just keep the shape. You just trust him, keep your shape. Yeah. And the spotter is going with the flyer. Whoa. Whoa. No, it's fine, it's fine. You don't have to touch me. He's, he's holding you. And now, and the arms, touch, arms touch with him, with your base. Grab your base, fingers forward, awesome. And now come down slowly. Come down, come down, come down. Yeah, the strength is good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Maybe we will show something like what can go wrong with falling one side, other side. Can I use you as a spotter? So what's sometimes happening here is that you can start falling a little bit to the front. Then I need more of the feet, the toes. I have to ask my spotter or he can feel it. It depends. Sometimes nice to say, yeah, more toes, more toes, more toes. And if you feel flexible, if you're fine with this one, if you're just chilling here, then you can try to bend your knees, more toes. And do Danurasana. You need a lot of toes for this. And then let go, catch, and come down. That's nice. it. That's the yeah. front bird. So, what if we do candlestick? It's also a nice one for warming up and for learning some stuff from a crow. He's got the same shape. Like, he's lying down again. <laughs> I step next to his belly. But back here, next to the hips, next to the belly. And I'll grab his thighs really strongly. And then I lean forward, and the first thing I do, I try if my base is strong enough to hold me. So I lean forward. I don't even have to grab that much now, but I try to go with my wrists, uh, with my ribs in, ribs in. 
Then I will start with the hardest way to get there, and then I will build up or go down to the easiest. The first thing that you can do, it's like when you're really feeling strong, you can do this one. Then if this doesn't feel like a possible way to come up, then you can bend your knees a little. Again, ribs in. That's really important part. And you can jump. It's always better to go first here and then up, then straight up. <laughs> and the easiest way to get in a candlestick, foot on the knee, foot on the knee, straight your <laughs> sorry, knees, and then to the side. Okay, I will show on Denisa how you can help somebody to get in this one. So, the thing is, for the base, all fingers, one direction. So you don't put like this, uh -huh. because then you can squeeze it here around the collarbone, doesn't feel very well. First, she will grab the thighs, mm -hmm. lean forward, Namaste Gora. And she goes with ribs in. She steps on his knee, one knee, other knee. And again, around the hips. She straighten her legs. And then she goes to the side. For the flyer, it's really good to engage the legs as much as possible, even like to the feet. Good, guys. <laughs> and breathe, relax your face, hello. <laughs> when they're coming down, she will go to the side, open the legs, and slowly, slowly use the core, use the core, and come down. Good job. Nice. Thanks. Do you want to try it? Uh, Should I jump in? Yeah, it must, yeah, yeah, is he strong enough? Yeah, I gotta have a go at this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> The size of him, he's going to help me yeah. up. There's no problem. He, he was basing all, Mark all a lot, up. like Mark Roberts. He was yeah. basing him a lot, so Mark you can do it. Mark weighs about yeah. half of what I do, I think. <laughs> but I think you'll still be okay. So, you step next to the belly, next yeah. to the belly button, actually. Yeah. And then you grab his thighs, strongly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you lean forward, lean forward. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And then ribs in, and you can jump. Or maybe I can. Or do. you can nice ah, go twitch the there. Awesome too. <laughs> and higher with the legs, higher to this direction. Yeah, to me, to me, to me. Yes. Hmm, nice shape. Oh. Nice shape, guys. Good. Nice. And then Split. slowly down, as slow as possible. Ribs in. Wow. Great. Nice, good That's job, awesome. man. Good job. <laughs> good. That's the first time I've done a split press handstand. I need you all the time. <laughs> I can't do it off from the floor. <laughs> I think it's actually good really job. nice to do the acro stuff for the handstand stuff and so yeah, because yeah. it's much easier. It's easier for your wrist. You can see, you can easier feel the same your, work. Yeah. You can feel the press. Yeah. yeah, good job. Nice. And I will show you how to use this when you are comfortable with getting up and down, how to use it as a, like a core strengthening stuff mm -hmm. or like warming up for the, for the tougher things. So I grab the thighs and lean forward. <laughs> Go up. And then I come down. And up. Down. And up. As many times as you feel possible. And then, if you're bored, you can try to use your legs, do several shapes, look at your base. <laughs> and then when you come down, ribs in. Like Titi Basana. <laughs> it's working hard. How do you feel? Still alive? <laughs> 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 
So what usually happens when it doesn't work, can I use you again? There is one thing that can be a problem when you cannot do this acro thing, this acro pose, the candlestick. So I was talking about the importance of having the joints in one line. It doesn't count for this one. The thing is that when she's holding the thighs, she needs it. When she's not holding the thighs, she's not there, very stable. So now, udělejte tu verzi, kdy jste moc vepředu, kdy se nedržíš. What happens oftentimes that the base would let the flyer to go too much forward and you can see she doesn't have the grip. So to find the grip, base have to push a little bit more back, then she finds the grip and then she can jump up. Jump up? No. <laughs> Climb up. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. And also for the flyer, it's nice when they go with the shoulders down. It's also good for the base. Doesn't feel that hard. Like shoulders, in this case, like towards the hips. Mm -hmm. She can use the bum a little. Is the bum. <laughs> like squeeze it. <laughs> And then slowly down, slowly down. As slow as possible. Still hold the thighs. Good. Slowly. Yes. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, if you feel the front bird's working and this one's working, you can kind of put it together. Only if it feels like both of them are stable. I will use you as a spotter. We will do the front plank and the supported shoulder stand. That's what I'm trying to do show. So, you start in the front bird. Again, feet parallel, I come closer, and my toes and his fingers touch, my fingers facing forward, his side, open my chest, and come up. And if you're ready to go to support the shoulder stand, first we have to close the ribs, again a little bit more, and grab the ankles. I keep my shape, Libor's bending his knees. Going forward, keep my shape, and then straighten my elbows. And back. It's my work to get the feedback. He's bending, and then straightening them. Ooh. Let's come down. You will try. <laughs> no? <laughs> you will try. <laughs> Back to okay, me. Too. <laughs> yeah. 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 You look forward. I know it's a temptation to look at your base, yeah. but when you look forward, usually you open your chest more. Okay. Yeah. Like you need to use these muscles. Yeah. Okay. Guys, let's do this. Just keep your shapes too. Keep your shape. And then here. What usually people do, oftentimes, they put the palms too much forward. Yeah. What you need to do is this shift. Yeah. Okay. You feel stable? Yeah. Feel good. That's good. Okay. Then grab your base's ankles. Oh, I need to fly first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't do Fly it. Then right. turn him. Turn him towards the camera. You can wave. <laughs> 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 like guys usually have it. They just do a crow. They just yeah, do it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. And girls are like, let me prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah, Then yeah. grab the ankles. Yeah. Maybe legs closer. Legs Close. closer. Ribs in. Ribs in. Yeah. And then you're off of the shoulders. Try to keep the shape. Keep the shape. And then straighten your elbows. You need to straighten the elbows. The whole arm. Mm. You need to come towards me. Yeah, yeah like here. And, there. and then your t-shirt is on his. Hips. You have to. You don't have your ribs in. Uh, more you there. Put your ribs in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we like have to come this. Off his legs. Yes. Uh, here we go. Okay. We are too much towards me. Come more. More legs. Front. More front. More front. To you. To here. No. To here. To, to here. here. To here. Oh, okay. Through windows, yeah, through windows. Yeah, like this. 
It's how you can show somebody which direction to move. It's much easier to say left, right, because they don't know they are upside down. Yeah, okay. Show it with your hands. And down. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to come with your chest oh, up, just up, just up. Up. Hands? Just up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. <laughs> Legs higher. Legs higher, chest higher. Oh. Look to the front. Okay. I was just looking at him suffering <laughs> down there. I was quite happy to look at him begin to sweat. Good job. <laughs> yeah, well done, I think for the first time it was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. The only thing is that for this time, I think we will show the front bird and the plank from it, just the walking. Yeah. yeah. Because maybe it's a good preparation before yeah. you go in before this one. This. So yeah. we, will, we will show. How do you feel with still? Is <laughs> So, when you're in a front bird, you can work it a little, which means that I will have my legs together, I'll squeeze my bum, and then I will go with the ribs a little in, and then we'll go on one side. Dej mi nohu na plank. Na plank. Na plank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to push down, and then come back. Mm -hmm. I show it once more. Levo did the really hard version with me. <laughs> I would like to show the easier one, which means that first the feet are here parallel. But when you shift the weight on one side, then he removes the leg and puts it like here, like a little bit to the side in the middle of the thighs. Then the other leg in the middle of the shins. So it's easier than to put it straight. <laughs> here. This is the easy way, please. I want an easy way. <laughs> so my job is to not to be this open now, but to close it a little bit. Yes. Thank you. Much easier. Woo. Love it. I'm going to put it on the If you feel very comfortable here, you can play with it. You kind of need a strong base for this yeah, one. Yeah, looks like it's really good for working <laughs> stabilization Start of the shoulders. Mm -hmm. wee, 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 wee. <laughs> Let's come down. And you need to warm up your wrists, definitely, before this one. Yeah. So you can still try not to go all the way to your feet, but you can stay here with one leg, with one, one foot, or here. Yeah. Much easier. Okay, do we have time to learn one more thing? For sure. Like a throne? Okay, let's do it. So this one is super nice for the flyers, super easy. And there are two ways to get in this one. We will show you just one to not mess with you. So the first thing is that I'll be holding here and pushing down the other. I'll offer my foot and libors like a base is heel is towards my sitting bone. Okay, then I go forward and up. Forward and up. Mm -hmm. And then both heels and the sitting bones. And we can just stay here, or I can put my feet on his chin and just be here. <laughs> with the one with the foot in the palms, you can do the turning to the side, another side. Just so comfy. <laughs> I assume the girls will try this one, don't you? It's an easy one. And then we can do some, some strength work from a base. <laughs> Woo! And when we go out of this one, put my Achilles between these two fingers, and he's not squeezing them, because then I will fall down. He's just there, relaxed. We go down and I will step out of it. Mm. Very elegant. So, let's show how to enter it again. You will show the basing, and then you guys will try. Uh, the spotting, sorry, spotting. So, other leg. So, I'm holding the foot, I'm pushing down. So get up, and in here the same thing. I'm pushing down, and I go forward and up. And my spotter 
is behind me. Like that is the most dangerous part where I can fall, it's backwards. Because forward, he will catch me, to the side usually not happening, back is the worst part. So I think we can go down and ladies will try. Since you're here, the first one. <laughs> you have to show him which, which side. <laughs> Maybe maybe do the other side. I will show how to help in this one. Do the do the other other one other one. Because when somebody doesn't feel comfortable in this one, I can grab under the elbow and under the palm, and she can push in the foot and in me in me push down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What she needs to do go with the knees a little bit closer. They are parallel, not facing the side, and then she can put her feet. Her shins and just be there, like in a throne, just a throne, <laughs> like wave and stuff, <laughs> juggle if you know how to juggle, read a book or something. It's a nice one to take pictures in. And then when they leave it, and there, and here from a flyer, you know, step out of it. The thing is, when you're spotting, you're always there for your flyer till the end until they are on the ground. So. <laughs> There's no upside down in this one. You're OK. Let's try. First, the palm. You grab the foot. And then you offer the opposite leg. The opposite leg. Opposite leg. And then nothing with, or with this arm or I can help you. Then you will push down with this one and into me also down with this one. Yeah, like that. And you step up. And you have to put the foot under your bum. Yes, like that. You just let go. You're just there. You just sit there. You just breathe. It's a good thing to breathe. <laughs> Wherever you can put it, wherever you feel like putting them. Yeah. <laughs> and as a, if I would be a good spotter, but I believe this base that you, I can be beside her. No, you just be there. You, he's practicing. You relax. You relax there. Oh, and what was her feet on the shins? You got the guts? Yeah, you just can put the foot on shins. It will be for the trans transition for the next video, for a little harder things like foot to shin. So this will be the start of the next thing we will do. And then when you go down, you offer your Achilles. Achilles? Yeah, and then you just step on the floor, on the floor, and you leave your base. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the last thing that I want to show, I almost forgot, is when somebody has a short hamstring, when he's basing, somebody's basing. Because what's happening in that case is that it's not very stable. Because when you don't have this line, straighten your leg. When you have this line, then you can push down. It's really nice and comfortable. But when, yeah, it's a good thing. If you want to help your base to find the line and also feel how is it, when somebody's on you, on your feet, then you can put your forearms on the feet and just lean forward and down. And then if I feel stable enough, I can climb him like a little monkey. <laughs> but when somebody has short hamstrings, it doesn't work that well. So in this case, you can grab a yoga mat. Depends how, how short they are. And then you put the yoga mat, not under the lower back, but pretty much under the bum. And then it's easier for them usually. It's not that stable as when the legs are straight, just with the long hamstrings, but it helps a lot. So when you feel like your knees are bent, you cannot straight them. Use yoga mat, use blanket, anything under your bum. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's pretty much what we have for, for this video. Yeah. Thank you.